Hello folks, welcome to British Hill Climb Championship Peak Week. It's only seven days away, six days away, depends when you're watching this. But boy, has that time come around quickly. I remember about five weeks ago, waking up and thinking to myself, I haven't got plenty of time, you know? We're just starting the hill climb season, traditionally. Loads of time. And it's funny when you're ticking off the weekends, that last weekend of October really does come quick. So maybe I speak for a lot of us here who are doing the British Hill Climb Championships in that, <laughs> are we prepared? Of course we are. We're all prepared. We've all done the work. We're all ready, as ready as we can be. There's nothing else to do now other than to just listen to our bodies, stay healthy, stay safe, just show up on the day and try and enjoy it and try and get something out of it. I know some people go in there to do fancy dress. Some people go in there to win their age category. Some people go in there just to be involved in a British Hill Climb Championship and the atmosphere and everything that it, that it brings, you know, because it's obviously gained the attention around the world now, actually, of being like a Tour de France mountain top finish, all of which you can expect from the weekend. Plus, Muckle Cycling Club, who are organising it, They've put on some really good like catering, there's coffee van, there's pizza van, there's a bar open afterwards, like you name it, they've gone to town on it. So I wanted to fill you in on what happened yesterday. I went out for a evening bike ride because I was waiting in all day for a delivery. And I got out, I rode to a local climb and I sent it. I sent it for two minutes and the result was a new all-time power record. So I went out to the climb last night and I got passed by an e-bike on the way there and I jumped on the back. Boy oh boy, were we flying along? I don't know whether it was de-restricted or what, but I was doing like easily 30 mile an hour behind him on a cycle path and I feared for the other people on the cycle path quite frankly because it was dicey. Anyway, got to the climb and it's a perfectly straight, arrow straight, greasy, quiet lane, like 13% for 600 meters. I just belted it up there. Wanted to just rip the first 30 seconds, like way more power than I knew I could sustain for the whole thing. And that came out at 679 watts. The first minute was 628 watts, and then the full two minutes was 553 watts, which is an all-time power PB by a tiny bit. Now, the climb is a perfect place to do this, like, there's not really anything to think about, and like I said, although my power started to drop off towards the end, it's more about the average over the whole two minutes, and the only way to get the, the true maximum out of yourself, I feel, is to just send it from the bottom, it's much easier that way. Plus, max is max. So if you come to repeat this, side of, this sort of test, you know, time and time again, you know, pacing doesn't really come into it. You just send it, and every time you do it, you just send it from the start. You know, all things are kept equal.
and ideally if you wave a magic wand you know you would do your personal best power or your greatest ever performance on the one day that matters the most and the wonderful thing about sport and performance is trying to make that happen it doesn't always happen sometimes we come close sometimes we nail it bang on i had an inkling that i had a two minute pb in me in august when i did a two minute pb after two and a bit months of training we've seen a slight improvement when i say slight improvement it is a slight improvement but importantly my weight has also been lowered compared to what I did in August. So, so we've obviously been doing something right. I'm not gonna get too hung up on the National Hill Climb Championship this weekend. Like, I wanna go there, wanna do a really good performance, my best ever performance, of course, and I wanna give a, a, a good show in of myself. And that's what'll be, that's what'll be, you know? Like, we've all done the training, we've all prepared, we've done what we can, and like, there's nothing else to do now and other than enjoy and show up on the day and soak up the atmosphere what will be will be and it's something that i've learned and i kind of want to share because of off the back of last year and it affected me greatly how much i put into it and then how sort of disappointed i was afterwards i think what i've learned over the years but particularly in the last year is that our happiness doesn't always have to be related to things that we can gain things that we you know put merit on like you know i understand it's a national championship like any race win is obviously a great thing to have my mindset has changed for the better towards now is i get happiness from seeing you know the work that I've put in come to fruition. Like, doesn't matter if it's on the day and not on the day. Like, I can be proud and happy of the work that I've done. And regardless of the outcome, that is what I should be happy with. So why did I do it? I mean, really, in peak week, as I've said before, it's about feeling what, what, what you want to do on the day. I knew the yesterday or this week is is a good time to try and go for 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 efforts that would fill gaps in my power curve especially if they're shorter than what the national hill climb championship will be which will be you know three minutes plus so i wanted to head out and do this and i'm glad i did because i could feel it coming and it's good in a way that my body was telling me that i was capable of doing it and i delivered on it this is probably going to be my final max effort of the week, of course, until Sunday. So I appreciate you watching and following the journey. If this is the last video you see before the weekend, I sincerely hope you have a great weekend at the National Hill Climb Championship. And you enjoy and you really soak in the atmosphere that will be in that final couple hundred meters of the climb. I look forward to seeing you there. Take care.